if you need to add a backer paper or if you uh, behind the swing or if you want to change a color that is not on the wall so you don't have to get yourself on the wall you can use these uh, tools right here this is called a C stand you can just unroll this little part right here so you can move the arm and you're gonna bring it almost like a three quarters out and you're gonna do the same with the other stand basically what you're creating right here is a backdrop stand you want this to be straight and you want to tie it off here so it's not sliding nor moving up and down same right here with these ones right here with the top one you are going to lose the head this allows you to spin don't remove it completely because then you just want to do it so tie it up once you are satisfied with uh, the angle you want then you're going to take your back your paper and you're going to slide one side in and the other one all right once the backdrop is inside, I recommend you to grab a clamp like this yellow one right here, a clamp like this yellow one right here, and you're going to attach it right here. That way the paper won't, won't unroll on you once it's elevated. Um, you're gonna try to find the middle so the singlet the paper backdrop is right behind your your swing very easy process you just try to find it right and then you're gonna add a sandbag right there the sandbags are the, in the problem and with the help of another person preferably you will want to raise this slowly all right until you reach the height that you want in this case if i'm doing it as a one person you do one by one you unlock and lock again until you get to the point that you want now let's imagine this is all the way up eight feet in the air you want to take these small clamps very important and you're gonna attach it here why? Because they give weight to the paper to unroll. It's very important to keep them on for whenever you are unrolling and whenever you are rolling. And you see how right now it's not unrolling, it's because it has this clamp. But when you have it really high and you don't have this clamp and you have the paper, it's gonna start unrolling all by itself and you don't want that to be unrolling by itself whenever you're shooting. So that's what you're gonna do when you can bring it out as much as you can during your shoot. Uh, whenever you have your desired length, again, lock the paper. That's how you do it. Once you are ready to wrap it up or change the color, uh, bring it to a comfortable height or get the ladder and stand behind the back of your paper in the middle when it's hot. And you want to roll from the middle so it rolls evenly. And once it's back roll up, you can bring the stands low again. You can bring the stand to a lower height again. And swap your paper for a different color that you want. Right there. <clears throat>